Before we get into today's video, I wanted to make a quick introduction to announce that we are now doing this full time. With that being said, I need everybody's help in order to maintain the production as well as the amount of views and, and, and total thing that we're getting from all of this so that we can maintain this and keep it going. Let's aim for 100,000 subscribers coming up. That's going to be the biggest goal to attain, but probably the, the one that I know we can do because I really trust myself and you guys. And I'm going to leave in the description uh, to my TikTok page and my Twitch page. Please make sure you go and give those a like and a follow uh, so we can help boost an additional source of uh, potential revenue for the channel to help everything stay streamlined and maintained. Thanks everybody so much for your continued support. Thank you. What's up, everybody? So, I've gotten request after request after request for Comedy Central to do a schedule review. Um, so, I figured, why, why not? Let's give it a whirl, right? Um, so, Comedy Central, Wednesday, we're looking at Wednesday 1st, February 28th. That's tomorrow. And we're already getting killed right off the bat. Killed with Futurama. Now, I love Futurama. I think Futurama is funny. I think it's a great overall show. I think that it uh, is a show that puts me personally in a good mood because I used to watch Futurama during very specific certain times of my life. Um, and it made me happier during those times. So when I watch it now, it just brings me that feeling of happiness. Love Futurama. So when I say this, this is not a hate on Futurama. What are we doing with two and a half hours of Futurama right off the bat? Who is... Uh, rise and shine. Two and a half hours of Futurama. Who? Who is doing that? I don't think anybody. Followed by... Uh-oh, here we go. South Park. From 9 a.m to 12.30. Is that about the same? Actually, it's three and a half hours. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's three hours. Yeah, three and a half hours is looking like. Or with whatever weird time is going on here. Three hours and 20 minutes or something. Right? Yeah. That's a, that's a little much. Two hour, two and a half hours of Futurama followed by three hour, three and a half hours of South Park followed by... And now here's Seinfeld. Here's another thing. Seinfeld is one of my favorite sitcoms of all time. I, personally, could probably watch Seinfeld all day. Personally. But this is not the Jamie Snowden network. This is Comedy Central, right? So we need to, you know, kind of diversify things for every person's palette and comedy and etc. Here we go. Uh, from 1 p.m. My goodness. 1 to 10? Nine hours of of Seinfeld. Nine hours. I love Seinfeld. Again, I could watch it to death. Soup Nazi. Great episode. That's too much. That's way too much. Then The Daily Show. Another hour. Another hour of South Park. Actually, no, hour and a half. One Daily Show, and then another one to four, three hours of South Park. That's a big... And then these are infomercials. That's a big yikes, you guys. This is day one. D three shows? <laughs> I mean, Futurama... I mean, look with me, boys. Futurama, South Park, Seinfeld. These are infomercials. These don't count. The Daily Show, satirical look at news, trends, pop culture, current events, political sports. That doesn't count. I don't. I wouldn't count that. Satirical look at news. That's not a show. Three shows you have. Three shows. Is that the lowest we've had since we've been doing these schedule reviews? I think so. Three? That's really low. 
Here we go again. Futurama, South Park, Seinfeld. Oh, The Office. Back to South Park. We're getting better, boys. Four shows today, huh? How about that? Futurama, South Park, Seinfeld, and The Office. The Office is still being shown. The, okay, so basically what, what The Office does is at 10 o'clock... Okay, so 10 o'clock is the daily show. The only change that was made was instead of showing Seinfeld for nine hours, they showed Seinfeld for four and a half and showed uh, uh, The Office for four and a half. It just split it down the middle. Yeah, it didn't really do anything else aside from that. Because, yeah, South Park is still nine to one. Seinfeld is one to five, four hours. And The Office is five to ten five hours right so interesting there oh wow that's that's a bad schedule um futurama south park seinfeld the office south park yikes wow there's not even a uh that daily news show separating it at 10 o'clock it's just going right on through that's a yikes boys that that is a you ever cringe at some stuff? This is a very cringe schedule. Okay, Parks and Rec for t for two hours. Seinfeld. What day is this? Saturday. Weekends normally change things up. Seinfeld from 8. 8 to 2.30? 8 to 2. Th is that six and a half hours? Okay, Talladega Nights. Okay, all right. We're, they're mixing it up with some movies. Talladega Nights, Dodgeball, We're the Millers, uh, Dodgeball again. Yet, why wouldn't they show Talladega Nights again? That's weird. Because, see, look, watch, watch the pattern, right? You ready? One, two, three. Right? That's the pattern. One, two, three. Let's repeat the pattern. Ready? Let's start from the beginning. One, two, three. Three, two, dang it, Timmy. You see what I'm talking about? What? It's uh, so simple. One, two, three. Okay, time to repeat two. What are you doing? No, you repeat one. Why would you repeat two? We just saw two. What? That doesn't make any sense. And then South Park again for half my life over here. Look at this. 11.30 to 3.30. Four hours. What is this? Parks and Rec. So Parks and Rec starts at 5. It's pretty early. Uh, Parks and Rec. The Office from 7 to 11.30. Four and a half hours. Talladega Nights. We're the Millers. The Office for 4.30 to 10. Five and a half hours. Oh, uh, no. Six hours because it's, uh, it's at 10 to 10.30. Six hours, my mistake. South Park from ten thirty basically to four in the morning. Yikes! That is s another six hours, I think. Guys, do, do do we not think that that's a bit much? We're still only showing three shows here. Oh, I'm sorry. Four shows here. Like, here we go. Futurama. Did Futurama even air on the weekend? I don't even think I saw it. Seinfeld. Office. South Park. Dude. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Futurama. South Park. Seinfeld. The Office. Next day. The 6th. Futurama. South Park. Seinfeld, know the office, more South Park. Wonderful, that's what we needed there. Uh. Thursday, Futurama, South Park, Seinfeld, the office, South Park. What are we, what are, what are, what are you even doing at this point? Why do you even have a channel? Futurama, Seinfeld, the office, South Park. Who's ready? Who's ready? What do you guys think is on Saturday? What are we thinking, huh? Parks and Rec, The Office, 
The Wedding Singer Blended South Park. What are we thinking Sunday is, huh? They're really going to throw us a curveball? No. Parks and Rec. Seinfeld for half my life. The Hangover. The Hangover Part 2 and The Hangover Part 3. All right, cool. Followed by South Park. Okay. 11. Futurama. Seinfeld. The Office. South Park. It's Tuesday. What do we think it is? Futurama, okay. South Park, Seinfeld, The Office. Yeah, same as what it always is, huh? This is, uh, yikes, dude. I, I gotta be honest. So that's it. I gotta be honest. Before we did this, I told myself, it's Comedy Central. Every time... I go, like, on vacation or business trip, whatever it may have you, and I'm on, I'm in a hotel. I can always trust to turn on Comedy Central, and something good's going to be on. But this is before I really looked at the schedule. It's really a bad schedule. It really is. Like, for people like me, who I only watch Comedy Central for, like, the, you know... How often are you, if you're on a business trip or if you're on vacation, how often are you really in your hotel watching TV? Not very often. You're you're out and about exploring, getting tours, or again, if you're there for a business trip, you're there doing business, right? You're not really at your hotel room. So that's why I say for people like me, where the I'm only watching Comedy Central for like just the two or three hours I'm killing time like you know before bed or while I eat breakfast or something this is not a bad schedule for me because yeah I like Futurama yeah let's turn that on while I'm you know killing time yeah I like South Park yeah I like Seinfeld yeah I like The Office yeah I like Parks and Rec right like yeah sure you know I'll watch a couple episodes of those while I get ready for whatever and then that's it right but for people who who like actually want Comedy Central to be something that they are able to digest like on the day to day right like something that that is going to become their network right like for us uh, at least a lot of us here on the channel was Cartoon Network that was Cartoon Network for us right um, some other people were Nickelodeon, some other people were Disney Channel kids, some other people were, you know, people love having networks that they can grow and connect with. This is not a schedule that anybody can grow or connect with because there's no changes, there's no variety, there's not much going on, there's no soul here. This is a soul, a very soulless schedule. And that's unfortunate. Um, it really is, honestly. Because, like I said, it's it's you're, the the audience is now unable to connect with you as a network. Um, that's pretty much my thoughts. Uh, I was not like I said from my experience with Comedy Central. I'm always like, oh, turn on Comedy Central, they're gonna have something good on, and they usually do, right? But again, I'm not watching Comedy Central all day. You know, I'm watching Comedy Central for because again, I haven't had cable by the way. I haven't had cable in like. 10 years right so it's very seldom i find myself watching tv anyway but the few times i do i do rush to turn on comedy central because i'm like oh comedy central they have got south park they've got family guy they've got you know something fun for me to kill time for a couple hours you know while i do whatever right but again that that's that's not how you should run a good network that's not how you should make a good schedule all of this is just all all wrong um definitely needs to be improved definitely needs to have more variety and i really hope that in their bumpers and promos and in their commercials and in the way that they carry themselves as a company i really hope that they have a soul and really care about connecting with their audience because even with the perfect schedule if they don't have a soul people are going to feel it people aren't going to connect and it's still not going to be very a very good look for the company. 
Um, so hopefully they not only fix the schedule, but if they do have some promos and bumpers and stuff that are like luster, hopefully they put some more time and thoughts into those. But anyways, guys, what do you guys think about uh, Comedy Central's schedule? Leave your comments down below. Let me know. Do you guys agree with me? Do you guys disagree with me? Are you guys fans of Comedy Central? Do you guys like the direction it's going? Are you guys enjoying its schedule? Or do you agree? Do you think that it's a bit lackluster? Do you think that they could perhaps spice it up a bit with maybe this or that or etc.? Leave your comments down below. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Thanks so much to Schwarzenegger Baker 8110, Kame Senin, Loser HD, and the newest member to our Cartoon Fanatic tier, Susan Simone. If you would also like to become a member, on my channel there is listed multiple different tier levels, and you can pick out which one is best for you.